This college football picks week 12 edition of the sports gambling podcast is presented by mybookie.ag. My bookie is doing everything they can to help DGENs only cash big, including a 50% deposit bonus on your first deposit. That's mybookie.ag promo code SGP to get a 50% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by Thrive Fantasy. Thrive Fantasy is a new a daily fantasy sports app built specifically for player props. Download the app in the App Store and use promo code SGP for an instant deposit match up to $50. That's thrivefantasy.com, promo code SGP. Sign up and prop up today. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per providers and they make it super easy to start your own sports book. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Welcome, everyone, to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money rooms for partner picks. Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer Dog? Well, it's uh, it's all about the future, Sean. I'm looking forward. Just watched a ridiculous Monday night football game. Wow, that was ugly. Gross. How the f- it's 2020, and we'll bring our guest on in a second. I'm sorry, but it's 2020. What is a running back doing getting 30 carries? Whoa. That's all I gotta say, Sean. I'm fired yeah. up. I'm hot. That was insane that uh, he went over. I I thought I thought the under was a lock. He must have got. Uh, at the at the very end there, because he was, of course, we're talking about the Dalvin Cook under rushing yards, which we were all over. That didn't hit. I did hit no lead to be over set fourteen and a half points. <laughs> it was barely any points. Joining us in the studio, Colby Dant, aka the Dant to base. What's happening, Colby? I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Thirty carries. I love it. That's <laughs> oh, that's stop. what I want. So old school that's football. what I want, baby. Can we hit the quarterback yet? Because I'm still mad about that Drew Brees bullshit. That what? was that was a bad roughing the passer call. Like he didn't even land w- with him on on top of Drew Brees. He still did manage to break a couple of his ribs. All right, that's good for the sport. All right. <laughs> Does get us Jameis Winston. <laughs> I was gonna say, what are we mad about? J- that's Taysom true. Hill. That is- I know we're supposed to talk college football, but <laughs> Taysom Hill, the little the little bitch coach's son who shouldn't be on the team, getting way overpaid. He fumbles. And Jameis doesn't throw, uh, even in spite of his efforts, he doesn't throw an interception. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see a little Jameis. Anyway, let's talk college. Let's talk college football. A lot of a uh, lot of the picks got uh, coveted out, unfortunately. Last week sucked. However, all three of us did hit our uh, three team tees. That's something they can't take away from us. A triple tease. Yes, my, my buffs, baby. You know, uh, you're starting to. I'm not a believer in curses uh, or or uh, or or mysterious powers, but this leaving, running away from Colorado to go take a better job, hilarious. That's it's not looking too good for him. Twenty-seven, nothing, and then what? The game before, forty-nine to seven. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Car Durrell takes a safety. A safety from last year's team puts him at quarterback two and zero. Fuck Look yeah. out! That's my type of team, though. I want a safety at quarterback, not a <laughs> pussy little quarterback like Drew Brees and all these other douchebags. Well, in hey. uh, <laughs> Washington State, I threw them out there on, on Twitter at Gambling Podcast, of course. Plus ten and a half, felt great yeah. about it. They were up for a big portion of the game, and then Oregon comes out of nowhere in the second half and just as uh, predicted wait, by me. Yeah, you did. You, Dude, you had we kept that. getting field goals when we needed to get touchdowns. Yeah. They were turning the ball over left and right. I'll say this. I don't remember his name, but they have a quarterback. He's a true freshman. That's what I was, uh, that's they what I was also, basically getting at. Uh, I think they're going to, I think they're going to randomly play a little defense. Oh no. Love that higher. Well, and they, the, and they yeah. created a lot of turnovers for uh, against Oregon. And uh, that's kind of what kept him in it. But Jaden Delara. Colby, Delora, I know that's it. I know you're a big uh, you. You do the weekly college football DFS, but Delora could be a guy you look at, especially if they're going up against a softer a team or or a game where they're a big favorite. I think he could really light it up. Dude. Super athletic guy, kind of got maybe uh, yeah. It's way too early to say this, but uh, kind of Kyler Murray esque. Like oh, just yeah, scrambling all over the place. Good arm. I, I liked what I saw. He's still a true freshman, but I think there's a couple sneaky. Uh, opportunities if you look at their schedule to play him, especially in college football DFS. S- same high school as Tua Mariota and Timmy Chang. That's the connection. Timmy Chang, the old Hawaii. Does he quarterback. still hold the record? Uh, or did Cole I think Graham Harrell might have beat him, but 
but Ch- Chang started ahead of Rolovich at Hawaii. So that's probably the connection there. But uh, guys, DFS, I, uh, you know, I give away this lineup. I hope you listen <laughs> to me and NC Nick's uh, uh, DFS show. What happened going into the third quarter of the, Ooh. so, so you get the, the daytime Saturday slate is the, you, you get, but it's kind of like the NFL. You get the two slots. Yeah. You know, you get the 9 a.m. to slot. noon here, here in LA, and then you get the noon to or 1230 to like four. Yeah, right? you're ba- you're getting everything before the prime time, like four thirty five yeah. o'clock games, essentially. So I had a ton of those wake UNC players, nice. and that game was an arena football game. It was actually if yeah. I didn't have those players, I would have been vomiting because it was absolutely horrible for the st- sport. No, of football. that sounds beautiful. Fifty two plus was, each team, dude. Come on. Go, w- going into the fourth quarter, because I was in in tied for third place, winning ten thousand dollars. Oh. And Keaton Slovis oh just laid an egg, man. I had yeah. I had Slovis and 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 Stephen Carr, their running back, and of course that Slovis doesn't throw any. He doesn't throw the touchdowns. They hand it off not to Carr to this Hawaiian other running back. I can't take it, but I still <laughs> won uh, two hundred eighty dollars. Glad to see that's not ten thousand. I dude, I got I, look. So I, you lost nine thousand eight hundred. I like I yeah. like that logic. And it was hilarious. Slovis Slovis sounds like an STD you get in college. <laughs> Like oh, that yo. chick gave me the Slovis. Yo, watch you out for stay Betty. Away from her. Betty's got the Slovis. <laughs> well, dude, I feel like I got the Slovis after watching that performance, man. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry, bro. Dude, I, I got the Colombian at the house. She's watching me yep. go crazy. I, I'm going crazy because I think I'm winning ten thousand dollars. I don't even want to text you guys because I feel like I'm going to jinx it. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, how it works. <laughs> and of course you did. And, and and then and then she's like, "Wait, you can win this much money for playing for playing playing? Yes. What is DraftKings? C. Right? And I and I, I go, yeah, you can. And look, I entered her a lineup, and tonight she won fifty bucks. Wow, uh, Miss, Mr. Colby, I can make well, money well, with I'm watching start- football. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder. What's up? If maybe she has some influence over Ooh. the database, well, she and maybe put, some she, of the inputs that are occurring, she definitely has an influence on me. Because as we put together our lineup, I was like, I I don't want Kirk Cousins on my roster, and she's like, but he's cute. Oh. So we put C- Kirk Cousins on the <laughs> roster, so she does have some influence on me. You like that? <laughs> well, now, now we know why. So, so Colby had a lineup in which a, a player was started because he was cute. <laughs> Colby. And maybe that's what got him to it, shake the Monday night curse. You ruined <laughs> Owen nine, bro. You ruined it. You took that away from us. Oh, good times, man. But Hey, make sure you tune into that uh, DFS pod. Do your thing. And all the other goddamn. Hold on, Sean. I'm sorry. Well, gonna, we can, we can talk I'm about this cut, with the music. I'm going to cut a promo. If you're not aware, if you're not, for some reason, you're not subscribed to the college experience. Colby's literally put out like a hundred podcasts this season already. <laughs> He's putting out like 10 plus a week, breaking down all the key matchups, breaking down the DFS slate, breaking down the entire betting slate, and then giving you his top 25. Okay. Find me a harder working man in the business. What, what number are you guys at? I'm, I'm, I'm I just, I'm still so far away. It's like every nine, time it, it's you're crushing. listening to my neck, hurts, <laughs> my neck hurts looking down at you, bro. <laughs> Well, and you know who's been with us for a big portion of this ride? Good buddies over at mybookie.ag, the presenting sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast. Player props, in game wagering, of course, every college football game you want to bet on. Mybookie.ag has it all. And again, they're hooking you up. Thanksgiving, their big uh, Turkey Day free play. That's right around the corner. So make sure your account's loaded up. And uh, while you're there, Get a free 50% deposit bonus using the promo code SGP, where of course you can play, win, and last but not least, get paid. My bookie.ag promo code SGP. I do love that music. Does get you jacked up. Uh oh, here we go. Maction time. Uh ten uh, by the way, I, I did drop I hate to keep doing this, guys. There's a maction preview every single week from the college experience covering. Both nights of Maction. As a collective, we're ten and zero ATS on our locks. I'm six and zero on my ATS or ATS on my locks in the Maction as well. The man knows his Maction, Ryan. Since uh, Chef Russ has been disappointing us, maybe we dub Colby and his content. Unlimited. Maybe oh. he's the new Mister Unlimited with these unlimited episodes of the College Experience. Oh, I got a lot to battle through this week. Sierra's yeah. Colombian too, right? Like there's a lot of parallels there between Colby and Russ. Well, you know how I'm getting them done, right? That Colombian cocaine, man. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> I threw a little Colombian drip on the DraftKings golf lineup. Just messing around. 110 to one guy. 
what does he do? Fucks around and finishes in like the top 15. So cocaine's been good lately. <laughs> Dustin Johnson just won the masters. He loves cocaine. Uh, mm. Yeah. I, I thought you were going to say Colombian drip. That's what happens when uh, Dustin Johnson gets a little uh, nose booger coming out the side. <laughs> is, oh, sorry. Uh, I just got these allergies are bad. It, yeah. D- Dustin, <laughs> Dustin, what's going on? You know, he's definitely going to do Coke in that green jacket. That is a lead pipe lock. If you have a green jacket, you're definitely doing Coke. Doesn't he have that slamming hot chick too? Yeah, she's Bro, doing a blow off. One hundred percent, Coke was done off of his dick. Yeah, that's what I was. Just go, I was. Go, I was going there, but yeah. well, I went there for Gosh. you. But like, hold, hold Colby back. I'll take the dick joke. All right, <laughs> save the dick for uh, Kramer. You heard him, Brian. <laughs> save the dick jokes for me. I even gave uh, you I pause don't want there. A dick rubbed on me tonight. <laughs> wow, that best. took me. A, that's a that best. was. No you one, know, no one will see the behind the scenes, but what it took for me to pull that up out of the deep recess. That uh, <laughs> I, you know, a take couldn't be more time proof than that one with chicks in Vegas. Yes, <laughs> wanting dicks rubbed on them. Kent State Golden Flash is squaring off against the Akron Zips in beautiful Kent, Ohio. Kent State minus twenty four. Colby. You've instructed me that Akron is hanging around UMass territory. That's all I need to hear. Well, what happened last week, though, Colby? Yeah, uh, that look, was that was what happened. Last I, I week, feel Colby. bad. They, they, well, Ohio starting a freshman quarterback, you and, feel and bad. they're a run-heavy team, so they ble- they bled the clock. They still won. I mean, dude, this is still a no-brainer here. I mean, have you looked? Have you watched Kent State? Sean Lewis has got this program rolling. He was the OC of Syracuse when they did take down Clemson. Uh, ever since he left Syracuse has been a dumpster fire. This guy's going to get a big time job soon. And Dustin uh, Crum at quarterback is a stud. And dude, if you look are you at, sure Akron's bad? They haven't won a game in like Akron's over a post year. Post game win expectancy, Sean was seventy eight percent, and they outgained the mm. Zips four thirty five to three oh seven. They are Akron is zero and ten straight up in their last ten games against an opponent in the Mid Atlantic Conference. AKA the Mac. I'm going Golden State Flashes. Uh, they've looked the Golden pretty. State Flashes. What did I say? Oh, Kent State Golden Flashes. Guys, UMass beat Akron last year. Yeah. All right. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> Odd Shark is uh, predicting a 6.5 total from the Akron Zips. Who again? I think that was their Super Bowl last week. As we as we've seen, give me Kent minus uh, 24. So I'm supposed to take the favorite here. Yep. Tell me you're going with the. Tell me, Zag Ryan, Zag. Tell me, tell Give me, me Akron. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna follow the data this week. I love it, man. Well, with most games, I'm gonna follow the data. I can't wow. wait to get next time I hit my DraftKings lineup this well, week. Well, had I not listened to you last week, I wouldn't have lost money. I wouldn't have lost a unit on a random Tuesday night game. And look, that's like the first time they've <laughs> covered in like it. a year. Right? Yeah, and you know what? Sometimes you got to know when to change horses midstream. <laughs> No one to hold them, no one to fold them. Wake Forest laying four and a half as they head to Durham, North Carolina, Saturday, 9 a.m. kick, squaring off against the Dukies, aka the Duke Blue Devils. Colby, what are you doing here? This line is something smells about this because Do we Wake, have a rat poison sound sound effect. <laughs> Wake no. has an offense that is uh, very, very elite. Dave Clawson, I think one of the most underrated coaches in America. Will Muschamp just got fired from South Carolina. If they're smart, they would hire Dave Clawson. He's got an an offense firing away. They lost Jamie Newman. They lost Sage Surratt and everyone's thinking they're going to be horrible this year. No, Sam Hartman killing it. Uh, They got two really good wideouts. They got a good run game with two running backs. Uh, They're too much. Duke does not have the offense to stay in this game. Duke's one of the worst teams in college football. Syracuse is worst. (laughs) Wake Forest five and zero against the spread. Their last five games. Their offense really uh, firing on all cylinders. That almost got me the ten G's. Their offense, man. Yeah, no, I, I, I just don't see how Duke slows them down. It's not like Duke's defense is. I'm pulling it up, but yeah, I mean they're letting up 237 passing yards a game. That's just not gonna get it done. I, I don't know. I mean, Kramer, what are you thinking here? Any chance you're taking Duke as the home dog? No, Duke. I, I wasn't kidding. Duke's one of the worst teams in in, in football. I think. I think they're. I disagree with you. I would take Syracuse against Duke. Like right now, do something's off. Like I don't know. Cutcliffe's a good coach, but this team is just broke. They they just let they allow too many explosive plays to the opposing defenses. They I I can't imagine they're going to be able to come from behind if Wake gets up. And oh by the way, 
this is kind of one of those weird private school pussy rivalry games where Wake is the little brother. So it doesn't matter that Duke's down. It doesn't matter that it's football and not basketball. They're gonna want to take the advantage to smash Duke. Yeah. Um, you know, it really it, it plays well at the uh, debate club when they beat the shit out of Duke. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's, some, it's something to bring but up. I can't stress this enough. I, I think, I think Duke is one of the worst teams in college football this year. And I think this line is, this line is like remembering wake teams of past. I, I don't know. I'm I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm I, shocked. I was blown away by that line too. So Sorry, I, I think you got to take the demon Deacons here. I do want to say what could possibly topic, go wrong there. Now we've all picked them off topic. Can we shout out to Keila King six, nine oh, on, yeah, Twitter? on Twitter? Uh, Who's this guy? Been following my Mac picks, and oh. he hit for five G's two weeks ago. This past week, he hit for forty G's. Oh, well, let's just say forty units. Where we don't want, we yeah. don't want to disclose okay. anything to the Sorry. people that no, listen. No, he's he's betting on a. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I'm just saying we don't he's have many the taxes. <laughs> there's right. my, there are a lot of ins, yeah. a lot yeah. of outs. Well, he, no he is the one. He's a guy with a giant. He's got a lot of units. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Long. Cox. Tequila, what's his name? Uh, tequila King Six. He nine. might be hanging out with Concept in the High Roller area. <laughs> Shout out to the Sim crowd who gets that joke. Go home and get your fucking shine box. You know what I realized? I forgot to introduce this as the oh. Colby Dance Six Pack. Got a little sidetracked with some of those uh, master riffs there. And Colby coming off a three in one week in the six pack. Of course, two beers got stolen uh, thanks to COVID. So Colby hanging on to uh, the right to choose the six pack. And a wise choice here, Texas squares off against Kansas. Texas, a minus 29 road favorite as they head to Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, KA is not the abbreviation for the state of Kansas, Colby, but what, that aside. What, what is it? KS? KS. Oh. Uh, I don't Ka. know why. Just a fun. <laughs> Ka -ka! <laughs> Battle Hawks. Oh, and PJ Walker, uh, quick XFL <laughs> sidebar. PJ Walker going to be starting for the Panthers. Texas. Laying 29 points. I'll say this about this Kansas team. I know we're stuck in auto fade mode. We have the photo of Les Miles. They're calling them the new UMass. Although UMass is back uh, this week, I think, as uh, well. They are against Florida. I almost put it on the slate. What I'm worried about here is Kansas, that that quarterback isn't horrible. And I and I watched that game. I, I don't think he's horrible. I'm still on Texas laying 29 uh, because well, they are horrible as a team. And it's Weird watching it. You're like, there's no way they're going to cover 30 points. And then they just do at the end. You're like, they're only down 17. They're moving the ball. Before you commit, Sean, I wanted to come and bring a compelling case for the other side. For I just hate back and For Texas. our Lord and Savior, Les Miles, AKA the Mad Hatter. All right. Texas, they are in a look ahead spot. Mm. Who do they have on deck? Iowa State. Well, that's point one. Point two. Texas. <laughs> Two, four, and one against the spread this season. They, they almost lost to Kansas last year. They needed a field goal at the third buzzer. point. Yeah. Uh, Texas is one, four, and one against their spread. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, one, four, and one against their, the spread in their last six against teams with a losing record. Jesus. So tell me you're taking the Jayhawks. Please take the Jayhawks. Well, no, no, no. But here's the case for the <laughs> other side. Uh, the Jayhawks are actually zero and seven against the spread, and this is a horse you don't change streams <laughs> until it runs off the fucking cliff. <laughs> Less miles with more time to prepare. Uh -huh. Yes, please. <laughs> Look again. Don't be. What was the uh, what was the Oklahoma spread? We were people were like ooh thirty eight like seven and ooh, a half so, yeah. thirty eight, and and Sean didn't think it was going to come in, but what happened? And B D Iowa State. The Iowa State no was a miracle, fucking, man. No chance it happens. <laughs> no chance. They call him the Mad Hatter, Colby. He's Just, mad. Look, if if there was ever going to be a week that Kansas covered, it'd be this week. But it's less miles, baby. UNLV heads to Fort Collins, Colorado, to square off against Colorado State. Mm. Colby, this UNLV team is pretty bad. I, I, the the number seems a little high for Colorado State. However, I, I like the elevation, and I just like fading UNLV. I feel like I mean, pretty bad. Zero and four, zero three and one against the spread. Not a lot of fight out of this team. Colorado State one and two, one and two against the spread. Uh, is the number too high, or, or should we be back in the Rams here? No, we're back in the Rams. I've been fading UNLV all year, and, and yeah. I actually have been undefeated fading them uh, because I got the line early. Last week, um, oh, but oh, well, excuse me. But uh, 
Dude, I mean, I, I question the higher and, and honest, honestly, if you've been watching Justin Herbert on the Chargers, you, you're probably thinking, how was this dude not better in college, right? Yeah, and a lot of it was more. Well, he was pretty good in college. No, I mean, look, he played good, but the system no. did not play to his skill set. You, you didn't see the fucking like, like he he has he has one of the top five arms in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. In, in my opinion, Oregon failed him. That that I would agree with. I know what you mean. And, and, and although we uh, did see that arm talent in the college football tournament this summer oh my <laughs> during the Sims, we the, did. the the premonition of us seeing the size of those arms. <laughs> Like shout out to welcome to UAB for nailing the arm talent on Justin <laughs> Herbert. Anyway, uh, well, Marcus Arroyo was a big part of that. He was the OC of Oregon. I always thought Oregon never passed the eye test, especially from an offensive standpoint. From a defensive standpoint, I thought they were actually doing that. But UNLV goes out and hires Marcus Arroyo, and I was like, man, I don't like that hire. Maybe he can recruit. I don't know, but because he had Herbert. But I thought it was a hor- horrible hire because I never thought he was that good of an OC at a, at a at a school with a ton of talent. So I, I've been fading UNLV all year and it's been working out. I, Colorado State, hopefully they learn how to how to protect a kick because I, against Boise yeah, State, Jesus. yeah. I love what you did here. You just said, you know what? I've been I've been struggling a little bit with the six pack. I'm just gonna find this the six three and one last week, teams. Teams. three and one, buddy. <laughs> the six right? shittiest team. Plus, I hit my bonus pick. All right. On Here's what I'll line. tell you. You you already called out the two. <laughs> The two block punts, yes. I mean, imagine Boise State scoring fifty-two points on only two hundred ninety-one yards of <laughs> offense, Sean. They only crossed the forty six. Well, they times. didn't need to be aggressive. Well, and that I was, <laughs> I was. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. It, it's all I was, I was pissing myself because I, I was texting the or you know chatting up in the Slack, which again, sign up sportsgamblingpodcast dot com. It's really Slack. starting to heat up. The un, the the uncensored DJ's only <laughs> chat room. You know, it's like those go, whiteboard go, picks, those GoDaddy commercials where it's like, oh, see what see what we have online, Dude, that, and it's just a blurred picture of a whiteboard with lots of parlays. <laughs> that's why, uh, that, that's why Aaron Rodgers got into Danica I, Patrick. Those GoDaddy commercials. I do like how people are sending it by like putting pictures of their whiteboards. Right, and the we fucked up. We didn't get a whiteboard yet. Not yet. What it's, was like? Oh, I was pissed because I was gonna parlay the Colts and Boise State minus fourteen. I was trying to figure out who the quarterback was gonna be, and then yeah. Yeah. I got sidetracked setting up for the live broadcast and eating uh, eating chicken fingers and drinking a bunch of whiskey. <laughs> you know, getting getting my mind ready for the uh, live broadcast, so I didn't get that parlay, and I was you made, you made some chicken fingers for the wife. No, no, no. Right. This was uh, in Vegas. Oh, this yeah, was this the was Thursday night game. Weird. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> my wife's a vegetarian, Colby. Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's all right. Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't assume most people you? are red, are vegetarians. If she listened to this podcast, uh, you know, coleslaw is a, a hell of yeah. a drug. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, a hell of a the, drug. Uh, Colorado State <laughs> outgained Boise State in that game, so they were already a team you circle as like, oh, they're going to be. They were a fun play on team, like yeah, they're undervalued. They, they were way. scrappy. Yeah. O'Brien's a, a good quarterback. Nebraska transfer. Uh, the the tight end's a complete stud. I, I like the wideouts. I just think they're much better than UNLV. I think you got to take the Rams minus the fourteen points here. Well, I, I think you're getting some depressed line value because people see the scoreboard from last week and Boise covered against them. And the, but they only covered because it was a weird fucking well, only game. Because so. Adazio never knows how to coach fucking special teams, man. That was annoying. I, I mean, I didn't know Bachmeyer was going to play, so my play was take Colorado State. But, yeah. But I said, you know, pay attention to the quarterback play because I mean, we have no idea. It's COVID. This is fucking bananas. They have they're three quarterbacks deep with with injuries or some type of problems. So moving over to the Big Ten, Nebraska, the Cornhuskers laying fifteen and a half at home Saturday. 9 a.m. West Coast kick against the fighting Illinois guys. Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call the fighting Illinois? <laughs> How am I ever going to pronounce that? Shout out to Shelter Distilling Whiskey. This stuff's delicious. Colby, I mean, no way I'm taking Nebraska. You couldn't, you couldn't oh, pay I'm, me. Dude, you're crazy. To take Nebraska. Nebraska looked like dog shit against Penn State. They almost let what it back. What do you mean? They the were game. up like twenty eight to nothing. Yeah, in that and game. they almost blew the game. That's true, but they're learning. Penn State it, outgained Nebraska five hundred and one to two ninety eight. Yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm. Auto Penn State ran thirty one more plays. Thirty one more plays. Nebraska's it. bad. Illinois no, all the way no, for me. I completely. Who's the head this coach This is just a fade against Nebraska. Lovey Smith. Lovey Smith. Lovey what, Smith, solid guy. And what do we see? What do we see? What has the happened to the Bears franchise since Lovey Smith went <laughs> yep, away? It's been trash. It's gone to complete trash. Like they they're wanting Mitchell Trubisky to come back. Illinois, He's now the savior. Illinois eight and four against the spread in their last twelve games. 
but again, for me, this is just a fade on Nebraska. No. Who's three and nine against the spread in their last twelve? Because that this team just constantly disappoints, and they're responsible for bringing Nate Gary into my life. Yeah. I hate everything <laughs> about this Nebraska program. Uh, don't, don't you remember? We don't like the coach anymore. No, I do. Colby, I do, and I actually think Colby. they're much better than their record indicates. They, they, if you want to play the yardage game, go back and look at that Northwestern game. They should have won that game. Uh, they played the Ohio State better than they should have originally, and then a bunch of players got kicked out for for uh, targeting, which is bullshit. This Nebraska team is going to blow out this Illinois team. Mm, all right, let's go. I'll take that action. Let's go. You're taking Nebraska, Ryan? No. Oh, I'm saying I'll take his action. Oh, He's a Bobby okay. Smith guy. He's gonna be booking I'm it right you, here. I'm telling you, I, I, Nebraska. You know, when I saw you, maybe I'm just happy because you, I, I wanted to fade. Uh, I wanted to bet on Colorado State this week, and I wanted to fade Nebraska this week. So thank you. you. Are you guys aware that there's ten players out for I, the Illini? It doesn't matter. Okay. No. Just again, trust, actually, but I've been live spot. Including their starting well. quarterback. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes okay. you gotta take. Sometimes you gotta. I mean, take they didn't the have action. their starting quarterback last week. Can they beat? They beat Sometimes. the Golden Guido and, and, and Rutgers. You know Whoa, what I mean? Uh, well, the Golden Guido. Can you say that? The Golden Guido. It, are you allowed that? to say that? I don't know. I mean, I've been saying on the college experience. I'll, I'll give you, that? I'll bless you. I'm right? Italian. I'm half Italian. <laughs> Ryan's allowed to say that. Washington State Wazoo heads to Stanford, where Stanford's a two and a half point favorite. Someone figured this one out for me. How's that? How are they favored? Stanford? Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that. I mean, Wazoo looked. I mean, they looked really good against Oregon State, and I, and I thought they still looked good against Oregon. And and should, I mean, Me had too. a chance to win. Sh- certainly should have covered there, probably. But Oregon, like Kramer is nailing their their offense is something to be reckoned with, and uh, started firing on s- all cylinders in the second half. But I I don't see the Stanford Cardinal team doing so that. Colorado was up like thirty five to nine on this team, or something crazy, and then. Uh, I know they got Davis Mills back. He threw 55. They're not Stanford of, of the past that we know that's a run heavy team. They're trying to, to, to be uh, you know, a pass happy team. Look, if you want to be pass happy, let Nick Rolovich tell you how to do it. All right. Well, and the, the run and shoot offense is pretty fun. I don't know if you had the audio up Colby watching that game, uh, but they were talking about our boy, Jerry Glanville. I, I there did. was a lot of, uh, our, you know, basically our whole uh, <laughs> Rolodex was uh, discussed. <laughs> On that about. game and uh, the, the the run and shoot offense with this DeFlora kid, I think, is legit. And their defense has taken a step up from last year. I know you look at the points they let up to Oregon, you wouldn't think that, but just watching the team, they bring a little bit more physicality it, it, and they're creating turnovers. So. They haven't even had Max Borgi yet. Yeah. He's supposed to play, I think, this week would be his first game. So, so I mean, to not only is it puzzling that they're the favorites, they're getting 60% of the action. So uh, I can't wait. Can't right. wait. So are, are we all on Wazoo Kramer? I, I don't under, I'm with you guys. I, I don't quite. Are you sure? Cause you can fade him again. You pussy. All right? <laughs> well, I was right. First of all, so yeah, well, that'd be like, if still, I, if I still, uh, if we I have bragged, this here for a reason, if I bragged about betting on the Cowboys and winning, Oh, it's a good value <laughs> spot to fade them. That's different. That's different. These are adopted children. <laughs> Talking about our pals over at Thrive Fantasy. Oh, Thrive Fantasy, so fun! Love getting some player props, adding some extra sweat to your gambling Saturday, Sunday, whatever it is. They got NFL, PGA, NBA coming back soon. MLB. That's oh, a little down the line. Even esports. If you're a hardcore. Hashtag Dejans only. They got some esports player props. That's got to be a fun uh, thing to handicap. Twenty available player props for the NFL game. Just pick your ten favorite over or under. Again, we give out our lineups for the Thursday night game, Thursday night contest every Tuesday on the DFS Picks podcast. So check that out. Again, they've given over one point six million out. Five hundred and seventy of that has gone to yours truly, Sean stacking the money grain. And I got a sweet promo code because or deposit bonus. Instant match up to 50 bucks. Promo code SGP. That's thrivefantasy.com. Promo code SGP. Get in the App Store, Google Play Store, or their website, thrivefantasy.com. Sign up and prop up today. Don't forget that promo code SGP. Moving over to the top 25, Indiana at Ohio State, who I tried to make my lock last week. COVID hit or whatever. 
I, I, there's some conspiracy theories out there that the uh, COVID is being used to create more. Uh, you know, certain teams are popping up on the COVID list to avoid certain games and create favorable oh, matchups. I, I will Uh-oh. say, I you're mean, you're gonna light cold, cold. You just added some fucking gasoline to a fire. I mean, come on, guys. I don't understand how Wisconsin's got like seven or eight players out. Florida's got seven or eight. They cancel the game. Meanwhile, Virginia Tech. Uh, Georgia Southern, Kansas State, their team, they're they're out there playing with like thirty fucking guys out. Yeah, I mean they're they're, they're on the th- Minnesota. Shout out to PJ Fleck too, because as much as they're horrible, he was like on their fifth string kicker. <laughs> like well, they, they just picked a dude out of the, the that hadn't played a game of football in his I, life. I think it's also just like I think the ACC and SEC wrote the rules so that less games would be canceled. Yeah. I mean that's the, the Big Ten Big was Ten, just like mm-hmm. Big Ten was the dumbest about it. They made the tightest rules, but Wisconsin and, still and canceled s- and started late. No, I'm saying they canceled because the They're Big Ten bad. rules. Yeah. Oh, we're the so, threshold. We're so, okay. The the rules are so crazy, or you know, so strict as far as like playing the games, and they didn't give themselves any, you know, any Leeway. chance to make yeah. up the games, and they started late. It, They've so, just done a horrible job playing. And shout out to the Pac-12 for figuring some things out. I know it's tough for if you're a Cal Bear fan because you didn't have any time to prep for an offense. But I love how they did that Sunday morning game. Yeah, yeah. figure it out. Figure it out. I don't care if it's a fucking. I don't care if it's at midnight. You I would love I mean? to like, see the rating. uncommon. Yeah. I would love to see the ratings for that UCLA game going up against the masters and NFL. Well, well they started early, but I imagine yeah. the second half, they got to 10 got o'clock destroyed. on. Yeah. <laughs> I should have, uh, I should have taken a picture because I, I was out here early prepping for the NFL pregame show. And I had formula one on one TV, the masters on another uh, NFL pregame show on one. And then UCLA, it's a beautiful, beautiful, the thing. UCLA yeah. pregame show or whatever that they were doing over there on FS one, Ryan. Uh, breaking news. Oh, over at my bookie, the Turkey day free play it's in and uh, it's going to be for the Texans lions bet up to $250 oh. risk free. Wow. So if you lose it, uh, yeah, we're funded right into your bet. So ka-ching ka-ching and it's only one X rollover on the refunded bet. So they're really taking care of people over there. What else do we got here in? Uh, oh, so Indiana, Ohio state, that game got canceled. I, I think no, no, no. Mar- Maryland, Ohio state got canceled. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, yeah. Ohio state's game got canceled. Now they're playing Indiana, Indiana kind of surprising people a little bit uh, four and O oh, and four and O oh against the spread. That being said, you give this Ohio state team an extra week to prepare. I, I think they're just on another level. Justin Fields looks amazing. I know it's very chalky, but I, I can't pick against. Not Ohio worried State. about the uh, revenge spot here. They beat the shit out of Indiana last year, fifty-one to ten. I, I just don't think Indiana has the guns to run with them athletically. Colby, are you on the dog here? What are you doing? No, I'm on the Buckeyes, man. I think Indiana. Look, I love what Tom Allen is doing at Indiana, and I think it's great for for college football. But at the same time, I mean, dude, they got lucky in that Penn State game. They they got severely outgained, and uh, yeah, they look great against Michigan State, but Michigan State's dog shit. So I think I think the Buckeyes put it on them. Unfortunately, I would love to be wrong about this one. Well, I mean the the argument for why you fade Ohio State here is a the rust, the COVID rust, because it is early in the season, it's and true. this is a step up for them uh, in class. But the, Ohio, the Ohio defense, State has three games in. The Indiana defense m- might be good. No, it is the competent. Yeah. I mean, we, this would be the test, right? So. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm going to take the points. Like I'm going to take the points here. I, I just don't know if we have enough data for me to be. I will say that. And, and, and to those fools that you guys are just going to bet on Ohio state. Well, those like fools that, that put bitches. Ohio state at number yeah. two. If you look at the combined record of what Ohio state's played, I think it's like something like one or two and nine or something. And, and you're sitting there like, I'm how, just how are you that? putting them at number two? This is a, do you, who have they played this year, Colby? They have played Penn State, who's zero and four, mm-hmm. really bad. <laughs> uh, Rutgers, who is one and three, mm-hmm. right? So what's that? One and seven combined. And then their other game was who? It was uh, who am I? I'm drawing a blank here. The database is tired. It was who was it? It was someone. It was someone I'm furiously shitty. Someone at, shitty. Well, I mean, there's a lot. Nebraska. Of Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska. Record wise, they're shitty. I actually think Nebraska is better than their record. Uh, so who's one and two, right? So together, what is that? Two and nine, right? 
And it, and it seems like the Ohio State schedule is not going to get any harder. So this is their this is the season. They're going into the playoffs. They just need to win this game. They don't need to they don't need to cover. It's just crazy because the Big Ten's not good. I, I did a thing on the college experience. I think it's the not. AAC is probably better than the Big Ten. But this year. so anyway, take the points. I I do think I think we're gonna I think Indiana's defense is gonna is gonna play enough. I mean their offense is gonna score points. Uh, I'm on the Buckeyes. I think they roll. Speaking of Big Ten, Wisconsin's laying seven and a half in Northwestern, Evanston, Ill, or at Northwestern, aka Evanston, Illinois, twelve thirty West Coast kick. For me, I, I'm kind of looking to, and I know I talked some shit against Northwestern at the beginning of the season, but they've been pretty decent as a team, four and zero, three zero and one against the spread, and kind of a letdown spot here for Wisconsin. I think they really got up for that Michigan game. They really enjoyed sticking it to Harbaugh. They really enjoyed running up the score. Now you go to Northwestern. I, I I think this could be a letdown spot for the Badgers. Colby, am I am I on to something here? Maybe they're already looking ahead to the game with against Minnesota. Even though Northwestern is ranked in nineteenth, it, it still feels like I don't know, kind of a look ahead spot, or at least. They're feeling themselves after that blowout win. Big game. I well, mean, it is the, the next game is for Paul Bunyan's uh, axe, right? <laughs> it is. So let's not let's not undersell that. Well, and how about the Northwestern angle? If Northwestern wins this, I think they're going to win this division. So they realize they've already beaten Purdue, they've already beaten Iowa, they they've beaten Nebraska. So this is their chance. Pretty much, they win this. I think they're going to walk into the the big the Big Ten championship. And, and how many times have we seen a dominant Wisconsin team? They're running the ball all over the place. They're playing they good defense. They, they laid an egg. They against, leave home. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they play like shit uh, against the Illini last year, but man. We've seen this story before, and then I'll, then you sprinkle in the fact that they just beat the shit out of Michigan, they, a team that owns them. Yeah, that yeah. felt like uh, Super Bowl esque. Uh, this is a great so far, Colby. A fucking plus on the menu today. It's delicious. Well, these are the yeah, top twenty five <laughs> games. He has no say in them. I'm giving him credit. All right, Sean. You don't need to. There's no. What was the value in 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 making Colby feel bad about himself like that? Well, I just three, I three think and one. Three and one last week. Colby. Right. Colby appreciates honesty. <laughs> Oklahoma State heads to Oklahoma in North. Oh, they're already in Oklahoma, but they're going to Norman, Oklahoma. Where regular Oklahoma is laying seven points, Colby. What do you make of this uh, in-state rivalry game? I hope I'm wrong about this because I do have an Oklahoma State future to win the Big Twelve. Yeah. At, Opened uh, at eight and a half, been bet down to seven. Uh, I'm. Uh, I think one tr- one team is heading a different direction, and I, I think the Sooners are going to roll here. They they look really sharp the past couple of weeks. Uh, I why, hope I'm wrong. Why is this only seven? Well, it was yeah, like, and yeah, well, I mean, I'm just going to look at line movement here and the fact that it started at eight and a half and already got bet down to seven. That's telling me everyone's getting a little cute here, talking themselves into Oklahoma state when Oklahoma. Yeah. It's, I mean, maybe it's a, a bit of a number, but they're five and two straight up and against the spread been really good at home. Uh, I mean, I'm straight up eight, 18 and one straight up in their last 19 games at home. So if you don't think they're going to lose outright, which I don't think so, I I'm leaning to taking the seven and I, I don't know if this is really even that close. So I'm, I'm on Oklahoma minus seven feels like Oklahoma state's a little uh, above their skis here in over their skis or whatever the phrase is. <laughs> Quick thing to point out with it's early in the week. So probably not too meaningful, but the, the tickets are split a uh, heavy money on Oklahoma, mm. 80%. So but I, I mean, I, I'm with you. Really? Guys. Then why do you think it got it opened at eight yeah. and a half? That's why I said those that data might not be very real. I, I mean, because I think early in the week it just takes a certain guy to bet. To, I mean, the the to, to move a number from eight and a half to seven and a half probably not a big deal. You know, you come in with a couple G's like Sean stacking the money mm-hmm. green, you might be moving lines. I, I think this is really just about the fact that Oklahoma State is. I mean, like you said, Oklahoma State trending the wrong direction. Oklahoma's. Falling out unless there's some injury news we don't know about, and maybe that's why they got hit hurt hit early. Hey, I was in Oklahoma, and and the COVID does not really happen there. So, um, well, Jesus protects us, right? That's what <laughs> I'm I heard. saying. It wouldn't surprise me if Dr. there were some Pepper. COVID some COVID situations there. Yeah, you just spray it up the the chick's uh, vagina, right? It gets rid <laughs> of the COVID. Control. It's long story short. No, 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 it's COVID control. <laughs> You're on Oklahoma, Ryan. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take Oklahoma. I it, I I just I feel like if you take Oklahoma State in this game, you're gonna be constantly just hoping for a backdoor as they trade scores. Oklahoma, or sorry, we just did that. Appalachian State catching four and a half in Conway, South Carolina, as they square off against Coastal Carolina. The Chanticleers, Colby, laying four and a half. This is uh, w- what are you doing here? Well, real quick, I nailed the look ahead spot. We were we were taken away a game. They they took away the Coastal Carolina fade, but we did fade App State last week. Uh, we we got home with that one because we were talking about the look ahead spot, but the quarterback. Well, probably. I was about to say the real situation there was App State's quarterback Zach yeah. Thomas got knocked out of that game. They they actually pl- played great considering they had to come from behind it, with the backup quarterback and win that game. What's his status? Uh, he is. Uh, it's a game time decision. So fucking it, college yeah. injuries like Russian roulette. You're just well, saying, hey, yeah, fuck between yeah. this, yeah. between that and COVID, it, they're the late line movement is insane. I'm going to uh, Coastal Carolina here. I, I if you get knocked out with a concussion, I, I think you're not going to be back the following week. And App State, as much as they've been a good team, six and one, one and six against the spread. I like the Chanticleers at home. They seem to. Uh, I mean, maybe there's some, maybe some of that teal turf magic. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna back you, especially with the uncertainty at the quarterback. You want to wait a but last real, second to bet. Did he not have way. a leg injury? Uh, they said he was in the hospital, but they said he's he's day to day right now. Oh, oh I, I thought I thought, I thought it was John concussion. Concussion. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I mean, it, it's it sounds like he's less likely to pay, play than likely. Um, plus, I think this is you know at this point my my motivational pep talk for the fans of Coastal Carolina, for the players of Coastal Carolina, for the. The organization, the school. Well, you saw who won the Masters, right? You know where he's from. The coast of Carolina. Uh huh. And and I don't. You don't think that has something to do with the fact that I called them out and I said you have to do better. Now your field is still <laughs> fucking gross, and I'm not going to watch the game because it's fucking gross. Oh, don't say. But this that. is your year. This is your year. Well, it's it's gross like 2020, Colby. Dude, it's not their year. Grayson McCall is a fucking freshman. He's their quarterback. He's there unless he grad transfer. I'm just saying this is their year. They're gonna take down the big bad app state. Okay. I'll give I'll give them some credit, or maybe I'll be blamed when I mush them and ruin their season. (laughs) And either way, I'm smiling. To clarify, App State quarterback was a leg injury, but he did get carted off. They're describing the injury as serious, so I I can't imagine he's playing. Cincinnati. Uh, Were you gonna say something? I was just gonna say the the college term for like when they when they have no idea, just uncertain. His status is uncertain. (laughs) I'm seeing. I mean, I'm seeing day to day here, but yeah. Mm. uh, I don't know. Anytime they say serious, uh, Mm, they got medicine, you know. Cincinnati, the Bearcats head down to Orlando, Florida, where they're laying six points against the UCF Golden Knights. Colby, your Golden Knights, they can put up points, but can they stop anyone? I'm going. Uh, I'm going Cincinnati here. I, I probably not getting great value because it already it opened at three, already up to six. If it's under a touchdown, and which it is right now, I'm locking up Cincinnati. And I John, just I'm like five and a half now. I'm okay, five and a half. I, I just like what I've seen out of the Cincinnati team and UCF. Their lack of defense uh, and the fact that they're going up against this Bearcats defense, which by all accounts looks legit. I know it's a chalky play, but I'm taking Cincinnati here. Uh, I'm all over UCF, man. I, I thought coming into the year, Cincinnati would be undefeated at this point, uh, especially after the Tulsa game got canceled. I thought Tulsa might be able to beat them, but mm. I so think you're saying Bearcats a little fraudulent. Uh, look, I mean, they've been impressive and they've been impressive. Say, really? the, the more that that season has gone on, I thought their physicality would be something that would uh, have them high in the Danta base rankings. I just think what, like, I, I kind of called this out on the college experience of like Florida. North Carolina, Oklahoma, and UCF have offenses that I don't care. In 2020, the way that pussy football is played today, <laughs> good offense beats good defense. And I, th- those offenses wow. are unfucking stoppable. It's amazing that they've ever lost a game. I mean, they, they were depleted by injuries, UCF. They're, they're healthy now. And I think this, this offense is, is just going to just. But look what since he's done to other prolific offenses. Yeah, yeah that was, I, I understand. I think they're going to be able to slow down UCF is off UCF's offense enough, and I don't think they can stop Cincinnati's offense. See, like uh, to compare it to what you're saying though, like Houston is a high-powered offense, SMU, but they don't have the players, the athletes that UCF does. UCF's wide wide receiver group and running back group is yeah, like I mean, as good, good I, as I'm like you. it's better than anyone in the AAC. It's be, it's better than a lot of Power Five programs. 
So like, tr- like Trey Nixon and those guys and Otis Anderson jr. Those guys are just on a different level of talent to me than Houston and SMU's. Uh, no, I, I mean, I think, I think UCF is a good team. I, I do. I think Cincinnati is a better team period. And I think, I think the way that they're playing defense right now, we'll see, but I think, I think there's a version of this where they could do exactly what they did to Memphis and to SMU. And they hold, they held them to a ridiculously low point total for that, those teams. I would love to see, you know, this is, but this is, team, but, but I, this is the sleep spot. This is the spot where, where you probably had circled before the season is what you're well, going to say. Uh, and how about the game. revenge spot here last year? UCF clearly outplayed Cincinnati. Uh, Gabriel threw it through a pick six late in this game that cost them yep. Cincinnati won. So I think UCF's had this one circled all year. The the slight differences, like there's a legit, like since he has a legit shot to get in the, with, with all the fucking people shitting themselves this year, so. I think cause Notre Dame and Clemson. Now that I think both of them are going, there's still opportunities yeah. for teams to shit themselves. And, and I think like if you've paid attention to Cincy at all, you're like, this is a good fucking football team. Oh, well, I could, agree. Could Cincy beat Notre Dame? Yes, definitely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So, so you think they can beat Notre Dame, but not UCF? No, no, I think they're going to be. Yeah, focused. I actually. No, think, I'm, I'm, I'm clarifying Colby. Well, too. Yeah, well, here's my philosophy on this, and and, and I, I just want to hear the the yeah. logic. Oh, well, it's the same way that I feel like if we had a real playoff, that oh, North yeah. Carolina, Florida, or their their offenses is so prolific that I think they could beat any on the right day. They could beat anyone in the nation, North Carolina included. Uh, Oklahoma and Florida. Yeah, I mean, there as is well. something to yeah. the fact that, like, if you're, I mean, if you're if you're including more variants into the the equation, the 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 underdog, the unfire favorable side is going to to have more opportunities. I'm not, variance yeah. is good for the the worst team. I'm not saying UCF beats Notre Dame every time, but I can tell you Notre Dame still struggles at the skill positions where you, where they're great is the O line and D line. UCF's the complete opposite where their skill positions are incredibly elite. And I just think it's a tough, tough spot for a great defense to guard this. Yeah. I mean, this is, I I'm excited to see this because since I, I think since he's D can win, I, I, I hope you're right in a way. Now he's rooting against his own pick, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just, the more undefeated teams, the more we get rid of this ridiculous four team invitational. You know, what's not ridiculous. Colby, you hear that noise? <laughs> That's opportunity knocking. That's right. You could be operating your own online sports book. Thanks to aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's right. Sign up there using our link and uh, get up to six weeks free of aces. Amazing sports book management software. And they truly manage it all. Very easy to keep track of everything. They set the lines. They grade the lines turnkey solution. All you gotta do head to aspread.com slash SGP sign up there and uh, they'll help you with everything else. Get you going with your own site site that uh, in-game wagering player props. They got a little bit of everything. Aspread.com slash SGP ACE is the place. If you want to start your own online sports book, closing it out with the big three, Kansas state heads to Iowa state in Ames, Iowa. I'm looking at this number. Colby feels a hair high at 11 points. Can Iowa state cover the spread against the Kansas state wildcats? No, no. Can Kansas state cover it? You mean? Yeah. What did I look at? Oh, I looked yeah. at it wrong. Yes. Iowa state 11 point favorite against Kansas state. What are we doing here? Um, phew, it's a tough spot. K state, obviously on the freshman backup quarterback, but he's played actually pretty good. I'm just going to take Chris Kleiman. I believe in his pedigree. I think K state uh, hopefully has <laughs> They're a great team as a dog. Well, and, yeah. and and I know they've had two weeks off I, against West Virginia. They had to play a bunch of players out with COVID, so I think they have we an opportunity faded them here. There. Yeah, we we I have a I have, I'm dialed in on this team. Iowa State, look ahead, Texas on deck. Yeah, good angle. Uh, and Kansas State plays up w- when they are a dog. They play up to their competition. They're I scrappy, guarantee man. they will be prepared for this spot. Not quite the uh, the the scary place to play Ames without the. Uh, I guess how many are they? Are there fans in Iowa? There is. Yeah. As far as how, I know. Yeah. It, how packed is it? I think they can do 25% or something okay. like that. So, so nothing too scary. I, I mean, I just, I, it, it's hard to not be compelled to take Kansas state as a big dog. And they they've done uh well against Iowa state 11 and one straight up in their last 12 against Iowa state. 
like you said, Ryan, they're, they're kind of a frisky dog. But it's a look ahead spot. That's why you're playing it. You're playing it because seventy yeah. percent of the tickets are on Iowa State right now. Well, and, and K State still alive to to make the the Big Twelve championship. You're playing it because yeah. the quarterback is young, and they're and they're last. The last time we saw them, what happened? They lost to West Virginia, right? Who's actually really getting not a lot only better. is West Virginia yeah. good, but we we highlight this. The West Virginia road trip is fucking ridiculous for the Big Twelve, and it always creates problems when they have that early kick. So I think you're getting tons of value on this Kansas State team. USC, the Trojans head to Utah where they're a three point road favorite. That to me, uh, you can you make USC a road favorite no. at this point from no, what we've seen? Not. I tried to throw Arizona in, in as my uh, bonus pick there last week. You guys talked me out of it. Not, not throwing you under the bus there for that. But <laughs> Well, we were just reminding you that Kevin Sumlin is the coach. Well, and, and that highlights why you got to take Utah plus three. We haven't seen this Utah <laughs> team, but I, I think they're going to have a pretty solid program. And this to me is just a fade against this USC team, which just seems unprepared for the season. Now you're going to elevation in Salt Lake with a fresh Utah team. Clay Helton, not a good coach. Uh, and when do we, when, when are the situations where we like to fade Utah when they're a big favorite? Yeah, when they're away from home. Well, the scary thing is Utah, unfortunately, has had both their games canceled, so they haven't we, played. We don't know. They have Jake Bentley, a grad transfer quarterback, coming over from South Carolina. We, we don't know, but we what, what do we we do know that Arizona's dog shit. We do know that I was kind of impressed by him a little we bit. We do know that horrible. Arizona State uh, definitely didn't look like a team polished. No, they're pretty sloppy. So I, I think my takeaways and, and are shout you had, out to uh, Herm Edwards, who's who unfortunately tested positive for COVID. Well, sounds like he's doing. I'm right. hearing they might not even have a season, but uh, Arizona State anymore. But because uh, the Colorado game got canceled, but uh, USC traditionally loses in Salt Lake City, and guys, I got they've lost their last two, and I, maybe even more than that. But uh, it's a high of 43 degrees that day, and this game's being played at 7:30. I was going to say it's a night game. It's cold. Yeah. We are at elevation. I'm sorry. Give, give me Utah all day on this one. And and I I've heard some other like publications say, well, they, they, they don't fare well against the air raid. I, I still think in Salt Lake city, I know that they might not be able to have fans, but who's bet who's running to bet USC here because all, all 96% of the money is on the Trojans. Wow. Give me Utah all day. Oh here. my God. I, I give Kyle Whittingham basically two weeks to prepare. I USC. just don't know who's who's running to bet this. San Diego State, our gals head to uh, Reno, Nevada. Nevada only favored by one and a half. Now Nevada, pretty solid season so far, and they're always a little. I mean, they always play well in Reno, but man, I don't know. I I always just talk myself into the San Diego State team. Feel like it's a decent matchup, even against the Wolf Pack. Feels like the uh, you could make a case for me that San Diego State should be favored. They're five and one against the spread in their last six. Odds Shark, their supercomputer, predicting 35.2, 21.2 uh for Nevada. Colby, which are you fading our gals here? You seem to uh, you seem to fade them at the right time. Well, I was back on them last week and they did me well against Hawaii, but I think here I'm gonna go with how mummy's son is the OC here, Matt right. Mummy. He's a friend of the program. Friend I, of the program. I like the air raid. Um, I I think this Nevada team they have a money, absolutely money kicker. So uh, I'm going to take the Wolf Pack to get this done with such a small number. Yeah, I was going to say I think this is one going to be one of those situations where uh, we don't love laying a lot of points with San Diego State, and and we and I think they will struggle to keep up scoring enough points against teams that can score points. I'm also going to fade them, Sean. Leave you wow. on an island. All right. Well, at least one of us believes. And real quick, San Diego State, back to SC, our gals, Slovis, and I might be wrong on this, Colby, but all three of his touchdown passes came within the last like two minutes of the game, right? Well, yeah, he's he's gotten no, in, in these crazy comebacks. Well, I mean, oh, 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 you're saying on the season? On the season, yeah. And and what he he's had a lot of like lucky. Passes, but I'm saying like, get deflected and caught. He's and, not yeah. thrown a touchdown in the first 58 minutes of both games. Yeah, I believe is the stat. Maybe it's the 50, 50 first 56 minutes. Well, I, I I know that their last rushing their last touchdown was a rushing touchdown because it cost me 10 G's. Yeah, but, um, 
<laughs> yeah, but it was the, the one before was passing, and I the two in the previous right. game were passing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, the, the, I, I think if you throw out that extremely small sample size of teams just let relaxing and not keeping the foot on the on the pedal, Utah's a team that knows how to keep the foot on the pedal. pedal. So let's pick some locked. I, I think I just found my lock. Well, cool. perfect timing, Ryan, because the Lock Dog T is presented by MyBookie.ag. Promo code SGP. Little side note: I will be uh, doing a little traveling, and I'm going to be doing a stand-up comedy show this Sunday, Boulder, Colorado. Wait, there's comedy going on in the yep. world? They do. They have it. Socially distanced. <laughs> Don't worry, Colby. Uh, Wait, what's going on here? I'm doing a stand-up comedy show in Boulder, Colorado, this Sunday. So if you're in the Boulder area, uh, hit me up. I'll make sure you get a ticket. You driving or flying? Driving. Okay. Got got some sweet new uh, tires on my truck. Wow. Excited to check it that out. That does sound sweet. It's at the <laughs> Rayback Collective, uh, five p.m. seven p.m. show Sunday night. So if you're, you're going to Boulder, huh? In the area, give me a holler. Check out the show. Yeah. A lot of a lot of smoking weed yeah, out there, yeah, Sean. Buddy, huh? Smoking about weed. Smoking weed. The craft Buffs beers. were supposed to host Arizona State there. We, unfortunately, that game got canceled. There, well, there's talk that Col- something might happen. But Colorado, are they playing? They're not playing this week, then. No, they're supposed to be playing. But there's talk right now that the the, the Pac-12 either if there's another cancellation, they go to Boulder or or a they might let give them a pass to go to play a an, a school outside of it. <clears throat> Come on, BYU, buy out North Alabama and play and play. <laughs> That'd be a nice yeah. game. We should do it. Time for the lock dog tease. Kramer, you're up first. So many games I like. Uh, in the but why fuck up a good thing? Texas minus twenty nine. <laughs> that will be my lock. Oh, it's seven this year, Colby. I mean, I'm not. I'm paying homage to the the, the ones before us, if you know what I mean. Uh, for my dog, give me Northwestern. They went out right. They just slay Wisconsin season. That's a good. I mean, it just feels like a good spot. Tease uh, for the tease. Uh, let's throw Utah up to nine. Yeah, I like that. A little scary not having seen them. Let's go uh, o- Oklahoma down to one. I, I don't see any sort of situation where they lose this game. And uh, last leg, let's go Washington State up to eight and a half. I' not sure why they're dogs, let alone big dogs. Bonus, Ryan. I mean, you know, to me, I, I could juggle a, a wake pick here with a, a Utah or a Kansas State pick, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the the almost certainty that Clay Helton will not have these guys ready to play in Utah. Seven thirty at night, it's gonna be cold. Utah is gonna come to play. Uh, Kind of feel a little little dangerous playing this one instead of the wake one because I know what Duke is, but I'm gonna take Utah plus three. Even though we're not supposed to. I thought the bonus lock we Oh now we're going off card again. Yeah, I go I off th- card. Yeah, that's what yeah. we always oh do. Oh my again. god. Here when have we, we go. when have we done on card? Here we go. La- last week, everyone stayed on take card. Take liberty ca- getting three at NC State. Give me a second to review my notes. Throw out some picks, Colby. Okay. No, s- none of it. I wasn't on card. Colby wasn't on card. <laughs> This guy, uh, you weren't on card. Marshall is. <laughs> I know Marshall sounds like a game we would have picked, but uh, all right, give me a second. Um, all right, bullshit. All right, look, locking up here. Uh, give me my lock as uh, uh, why why change horses midstream? The Mac has treated me kind. Kent State minus twenty four. <laughs> Akron doesn't win on the road. Uh, the Golden Flashes win big. Dog, I hate to say it. The Golden Knights of UCF <laughs> will be that team oh, stop that, that wins that do, that money line play. Uh, teaser. Let's bring Texas down to what twenty three. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's let's. That is. I like that line value there. No, it it, it is serious with Kansas. Um. Let's let's go. Uh, UCF plus what is that eleven and a half? Yep. And let's. Um, UCF plus. <laughs> Where are we at here? Give me Wazoo plus eight and a half. And feels fun. And then uh, off uh, bonus pick San Jose State. Let me see what the line is currently at. I, uh, I can pull it up for you. I, I believe there were like it's they funny. Minus, Fresno open as a favorite. Minus but, two and a half. Yeah, give me San Jose State. There's something about Brent Brennan and the Spartan team. They're gonna win in Fresno. Go Spartans! Undefeated. This was a te- this was a program that was horrible two years ago. It's impressive. For my lock, give me a Wake Forest laying four and a half. Don't need to overthink that. Dog, Utah wins outright in Utah. And for my T's, tiny dog for Sean this week. Yeah. Oklahoma down to one. Uh, 
San Diego State plus seven and a half. Sorry, dipshits. Uh, we're getting that. And Kansas State all the way up to seventeen for my bonus. I haven't heard someone say dipshit besides my father in a long time. It's you an know old what I mean? school. Sorry. No. Go. Carry for my on. bonus lock. Give me Florida Atlantic I University. Knew I knew it. It was going there. I, I didn't, want to, I didn't off, want to give Kramer that. Squaring off against UMass, <laughs> laying thirty-two, easy money. It's, uh, it's at Florida, or no? It's uh, no, yeah, it's, it's at it's Florida, Florida Atlantic. Atlantic. Yeah, it's in Boca Raton. I, I was gonna go that angle. I, I mean, but are, are we worried that UMass has turned the program around after defeating uh, uh, Marshall against the spread? Against that was their Super Bowl, man. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, I mean, look, I think. I think you can do a lot of things, <laughs> and I, I I I'll give you UMass 2.0, and that's Florida State. Give me Clemson, bonus lock, Ooh. laying the 34 points against Florida State. I get, have you seen Florida State? <laughs> no, play? I'm just I, I I guess I'm just I'm shocked that it's up to 34. Is Trevor His, Lawrence back? I'm historically assuming? high. Spread. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Florida State is. I, I mean, I call me. I, I don't know. Are they in your bottom five? They are. They no, are. they're bad. But it's Who? just. Guys, it's just crazy to live in a world where Florida State's well, at thirty-four Cole, point. Who dog. wins right now, Michigan or Florida State? Oh, that is a game <laughs> no one, but yet everyone wants to see. Hold on, what's our COVID pick, guys? Uh, last we week didn't we didn't pick one. I know, but last week you got we got ahead of it. We we were having fun. We didn't. I'm gonna pick say our COVID the, the I'm gonna. You know what? Sean blocked me from taking it as my bonus lock. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna say the COVID pick is Florida Atlantic <laughs> UMass. Well, Ryan, I was gonna do this even before you did this, but Texas. Is COVID country in that game <laughs> against Kansas? Please it no. Will be COVID. No, Les Miles has coached through COVID. He's not scared, dude. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, UCLA, Oregon. Oregon's oh. politics kind of crazy. COVID's making a ramp up. Huh? I could see that governor, uh, you know, saying, "Hey, no football, no fun kinda, for for the youth." They're kind of anti-government up there, right? And then we're all the co- true, well, they're gonna move the. Uh, they're gonna. <laughs> what was that zone called where people were doing whatever they wanted? I don't know. Isn't that where Wild Wild Country ha- took place? No, yeah, that's, it's, no, but that's like where the, uh, that that area they took over where there were no police. That was Seattle. That was Seattle. Yeah. That was. Uh, well, that's in Oregon. Is it? Oh no, Seattle, Washington. Yeah, same thing, pretty much. Portland. Right? Well, it's all the same thing. Yeah. It's. it's <laughs> it's mildly stinky, and they they have good beer. It's stinky because they got some beer. nice hikes. Some great I, hikes. I love it up there. there. Yeah. I like green yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Oh, the autonomous zone. So the game's going to be moved to the autonomous zone. <laughs> oh, that sounds that like sounds like a cool place. That's that, not, yeah. Ever seen that movie? With sounds Joker? like a level in Sonic. Colby, too. that's where they right? that in the autonomous zone they allow helmet to helmet contact. That's how. That's the only way. That's you can get away. The, that's also where the purge happens. <laughs> All right, Colby. What was your COVID pick? Was it in there? Uh, oh, you said Oregon. I, I said UCLA, Oregon. I'm just going to take a chance here that. Uh, that that gets ruined. I, man, I'm gonna bet on so many games this week. Oh, I love this card. It's an amazing card. And again, head over to mybookie.ag if you haven't already. I don't know why you're not subscribed to the College Experience. The link is in the episode description. Very easy to click that. Nine days away from college basketball, we got previews on every conference coming. If you have, I mean, if we've already got a lot out there, but if not, then they're coming. Perfect time to catch up there. What else? Uh, of course, thank you guys. Merch Monday. If uh, you know what, hold on. I'm going to pull this up because I'm going to read some of these reviews. They are very, very good. And of course, get your reviews in so that you can uh, have your name drawn for Merch Monday. Normally, I've just been doing well, one Merch Monday, but I thought, fuck it, let's go all in. I saw that you must have been stimulated this morning. Gave out three Merch Mondays. First one, Nick Nasty twenty PFM pure effing magic. Not only is my bankroll fatter from listening to these guys, I also feel smarter, even though I'm doing zero work. Just sit back, relax, and let them make the stone cold locks. Not as good as the strip club DJ. I really appreciated <laughs> that one. Uh, this guy is uh, for, this review is from Big Grizz. Degeneracy or investing? Oh wow! Hard to consider yourself a DJ when listening to this podcast. The accuracy of the picks resembles investing huh. more than gambling. This is quite notable for gut handicappers, but some <laughs> things in life are not meant to be understood. Shout out to Big Grizz. Sounds like a fellow gut handicapper. Yeah. Last one, S Paps uh, two hashtag DJs only. Awesome podcast has the same chill vibe as when me and the boys jump on our weekly super contest picks call. Cheers to stuffing those suits in their lockers. <laughs> Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. 
for the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Justin Fuente, you got to pack up your shit and leave, bro. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.